What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to apply color to alternate rows automatically. Uh, so I have here on the right a list of countries and what we're going to do is just uh, color each row in alternate color and repeat that pattern. So let's get right into it. Uh, let's call this sub uh, alt rows and uh, declare a variable so we have i and count as long I want I to be equal to 5 because I want to start here at the first country so I equals 5 and then count I want my count to count the number of rows I have so I want it to count up from the bottom so I want count to be equal to 19 in the beginning so in order to do that I'm going to say sheets and I get the sheet name from here sheet 1 is the name So sheet one, and then cells, rows, count, then I want column A, end, and then XL up, so I'm counting up, row. So now count's going to be equal to 19. And then I'll just go ahead and create a loop, a do while loop. So while i is less than or equal to count, I'm going to color each row. So I'm going to have to move down each row. So let me create a range and treat it like coordinates. So I'm going to start off with this cell here. And the range is going to go all the way over to this cell here. So what I'm going to do is have cells I1, so I1 is this point, because I is 5, and then cells I, which is this point, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, so I4, and that will be my range to start. And what I want to do is have my interior color equal RGB and I need to choose a color so let's go ahead and say we'll alternate white and gray rows so in order to do that I'll just go ahead and fill it really quickly so I'll make this cell white and now if I go here go to more colors custom it'll tell me what white is so 255 255 255 so I want 255 255 255 and then, what did I do wrong? Okay, there should be a parentheses right there. Or sorry, um, yeah, that's it, parentheses. Um, now I'm gonna do i equals i plus one, and go on to the next row. I'll go ahead and copy this. paste it and I want this to be gray so let's go ahead and fill this cell make it gray and determine what that looks like on the RGB scale 217 217 217 okay so let's clean this up no fill and let's change this to 217 217 217 and I'm again I'm going to increase I so that we continue to move down and you know what let's go ahead and end here and see what happens we're gonna have a, an error but not an error but you'll see it's not gonna come out the way you want so I ran it and you see there's an extra gray strip on the bottom and that's because we're not exiting the loop in time so even if I is greater than count after this point here we're still going to color the next cell no matter what so all we need to do is throw in an if statement so if I is greater than count at this point then we're going to exit 
the, the do while loop. And that's all we're going to need to do. So let's clean this up and try running it again. And look, we're good. So if to make it, I guess, more aesthetically pleasing, let's try gray, white, gray, white. All we have to do is switch this up. And run it again. You can see it looks a lot better, in my opinion. But yeah, it's, it's as simple as that. Um, you can choose whatever your colors you want, obviously. And um, just all you have to do is account for that. And if there's an odd number, you have to make sure you don't color an extra row and all you have to do is use an, an, an if statement and exit whatever loop you're using and um, that's it all I have for today thank you so much for watching please make sure you like sure make please make sure, sorry please make sure you like comment subscribe have a good one